All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today we're following on with our Pokey Rogue run that we are currently on level 750. Now, unfortunately, the game has been very buggy in the last couple of days, so it maybe we'll finish this video, maybe not. If it might just be a short at the end of the day, but what we're gonna do here is we kind of had the perfect play, so we're gonna go Tinkerton, and there's a reason for this. So, as you see, it's got 11 Dragon Fangs, 9 Lucky Eggs and a load of other items and berries so what we're gonna do is basically fake out it gets you a, a berry or two because we do have a few grip claws and then we are basically just gonna cover every other item and that is how we're gonna do this so basically the reason I'm doing this is obviously to get all the dragon fangs because our hydragon doesn't need it um, not only that, we can get all the berries and then continue to get our PP up whilst also reducing Eternatus. Now, no, what's been happening on this game is you do one battle and then potentially get kicked off the server. If that does happen, this will be a very short video. <laughs> if it doesn't, great. Um, that means I can get past this level and then carry on tomorrow, hopefully when the servers are a bit more stable. But the reason we are currently doing this is obviously we have 40 moves. So to get through the 40 is easy, then you use the berries you actually get from the grip claw, things like that, to keep your PP up and eventually take down a turnus because he doesn't have any healing items left. So now you just basically rinse through it, grabbing the final two dragon claws while you're doing this, and then you basically OP if you have a dragon type. So it's really that simple. So we have got every single Dragon Claw now. Now we just need the Leopard Berries, basically to get the PPs. And then basically just keep going until this is basically dead. Um, if you haven't already done a classic run, Tingleton is a great mon to have. Obviously it's Fairy type. Now, the reason my um, covets are doing double is because I have a Multi-Claw. Uh, Multi-Lens, sorry basically gives you a second attack at 60, 75 or 80% of power. Now that's incredibly decent, especially for a Pokemon like this. If you have Grip Claws, that gives you an extra proc of like taking an item basically. So we have four 10% procs there. We have two 10% uh, chances of crit, uh, flinching with our King's Rock. And then obviously with our Covet, we have two 30% chances of taking an item, which is why we have got most of these items from Eternatus. So it's currently at 1, so this should be the end of Eternatus. And then, unfortunately, we didn't actually take an item at the end. Oh, yeah, we did. We took a Lumberry. Lovely. Now, are we still on the server? We are. I'll tell you that because we haven't, haven't actually got past this point in a long while. So let's just go over our team just very quickly. So we do have Tinkerton. We have our Primal Kyogre, Reggie Dragon, who's going to have the 11 Dragon Fangs. We got Mega Magivoir, which is basically Mega Gardevoir with Magina. We have Maloetta, Chiam Pao, which will probably get taken off the team if I'm really honest, because he's not that great. Or we'll merge it with something else. Um, but not only that, we have a few eggs. Now, we're not going to do it on the Groudon, because we already have that. So let's just see if we get any good pulls from these egg tickets. And we get a legendary straight away. Definitely, definitely worth it. Um, I need to get through this level, or these eggs, just so they stay on the account. Because if the server goes down, you could potentially lose your save. So I am just going to quickly run through these, see if we get any epics. Um, but we haven't so far. We do have, obviously, that legendary, which I'm very happy with. Normal egg normal egg normal egg normal egg and that's it so we do have a legendary on the way now fake out obviously one can take items with the grip claws that we do have and then not only that um we have all the other abilities that can take items it is so good having this um it's actually really good. Um, 
I'm actually going to take that and give it Tinkerton to try and do more damage in the long run. So this this Mighty Ender is a great point because it obviously has a golden egg which we did actually get with the Grip Claw. So now we can just basically cover it and kill. Ooh, we haven't actually caught one of these, so we'll catch it. It's nice having the ability to do this. Um, I am just going to get rid of it though. Um, so a fighting terror orb. We have 40 lucky eggs. I think we got more than that actually. We've got a golden egg and then I believe we did get some more lucky eggs. Yeah, we got one. And then we obviously have the 11 dragon fans which goes to hide. Uh, Reggie Dragon. Okay, so we have a nugget there which does what, 200? 220, so we actually can go quite far into this. We are going to come up against some legendary, so I do actually want some of them. Um, we need to take down... So, fake out what items has the... Okay, so the slowbro doesn't really have anything, and it's a Sea King that has all the items. So, we're going to fake out and hopefully take a Silk Scarf, which we did. Nice. Um, and then basically Thunderbolt twice, kills the slowbro. I'm actually tempted to try and catch this Sea King, because we don't actually have one. There we go. It just gives us that more of a starter thing. We do now get a ticket for every time you do it with a specific starter. So I'm really happy with that. Thunder Punch. Uh, Calcium does special attack. That goes to Primal Kyogre. We don't really need it on Primal Kyogre. That's the thing. Mega Magena will get it instead. Okay. So Viperia. Fake out twice. Didn't get the item, so cover it, got the hard stone. It doesn't really affect us. Um, Gigaton Hammer should kill, yeah. That is also a broken move, by the way. The fact that you can Gigaton Hammer twice is insane. Uh, free hard stone, we don't really have a rock type at the minute. So, what I'm planning to do currently is get rid of our Chien Pao. Ooh. Oh, who do I give this to? Okay, it's going to go to Magena. Uh, there's no items I want here. So what we'll do is we will fake out the Viperia and then water spout the other two and basically kill. Kyogre is broken because one of them killed both. Not only that, you do have the second one, which then finishes off anything that you don't kill. It is insane. If you do see the, um, what do we call it? If you do see the multi lens, definitely get it. Uh, if, if the move misses, oh no, thank you. Oh, okay. So there's two of them here. What? Three metal coats, that's big. One dragon fang, that's also big. Okay. So we want to fake out one and ice beam one. We didn't get any items, so we could potentially. We might actually not get anything from these. Which is a shame. Yeah, so we just killed. It might actually be worthwhile catching one of these. Um, Carve it the first one. And Ice Beam the first one. If we don't catch one, I'm not going to be too upset. Um, okay, we didn't actually... Thingy, so Kyogre might kill here. No, mind, Kyogre's dead. Okay, so we want Chow Pao. Um, we'll cover it and then yeah. So we didn't actually. Oh, we got one. We got one metal coat. I'll take it. 
The reason we need them is for obviously our Gigaton Hammer. And um, let's max revive the Kyogre. Sometimes you do have to risk getting killed. Ooh, that's big. So, 75%. We don't take the attack drops with that. And we also gain HP back. So, close combat is going. Okay, so the item we can take here. Let's get Primal Kyogre out. Is Fake Out, the Machamp. And then Ice Beam, the Viperia. We should... Oh, we actually killed the Machamp. <laughs> um, this is how broken um, these mons are. Kyogre is the best Pokemon I used on this game. Never mind T Tinkerton, anything like that. Kyogre is the one I would go for. Um, we actually haven't had... Okay, we're actually going to use it on Drain Punch. Um, any good items here? One egg. I don't need eggs anymore, so I'm actually... Magnena. Does that tell you who it's merged with? Magnazone and Mightyena. Okay. So we're going to fake out the Magnazone and then Water Spout and kill both. See, right? Even then, we just... We killed the Magnazone and then also stole the item. It's broken. Ooh, another Master Ball. This is like the fourth one in this run. Okay. So what we're going to do here is take down the fastest, which is Raichu, and then Water Spout, and then we we just kill. Water Spout has 100% accuracy, so you are just going to hit every time, which is one of the broken things about it. Especially when you've got Primal Kyogre, which does give you, obviously more damage when um, your oh did we get the magnet no we didn't that's a shame I do want the magnet if we can get it doesn't look like we can we did steal a silk scarf though what other items has this got so the only thing it has now is the magnet which we still didn't get I'm actually tempted to catch it because we do need it for the decks. Okay, never mind, it's just decided to heal and that's bad. Malawetta, let's use Relic Song. Okay, so hopefully, never mind. It's got speed boost as well. Okay, I think we die here. Oh, never mind, we kill. That's incredibly lucky that we got away with that. Zap kind of missing was huge. Now, a shiny Fletchling would be nice. Same thing as a starter would be nice as well. Um, any shinies in any of these, I would take. We did actually get the Corsal, which is a big one. Oh, a Milsuri. Okay. Shield on, not that great. Diglett, not that great. Snom, not that great. Oh, I do wish the shiny it was a bit higher. Obviously, when you have the shiny weekend, it's insane. That attack up Totodile was big as well. Um, Corfish. I do need to get a light, by the way. Like a an Elgato light just to go on there. Just to make my, like, make it a bit brighter in here. Uh, the lights are on that great. Um, Patillo. Okay. Fido. No. Weedle. Uh, Wurmple, sorry. Illumise. No. We got absolutely nothing from them eggs. Did I heal? We did. Okay, so this has two metal coats. 
and a, a lucky egg. We got the egg, not the metal coat. Mm. Would have preferred the metal coat, to be honest, to give Gigaton Hammer even more power. Uh, okay, let's just keep checking. Anything better? Speed would be good. Um, on Tinkerton. Is there any items here I need? No. Switch to Primal Kyogre here. Primal Kyogre basically just wrecks. It's such a good mon. I said, and that's on one water spot. It hasn't even gone to the second. That's how powerful that move is. Um, so if you are going to be starting a run and you do hatch a Kyogre, or even catch one like I did, that is the way to go for definite because you get origin pulse from the get go. Just that's the main one. If you get if you got origin pulse as your first move, like you are sorted. Um, no items there. I'm actually just gonna swap out to Kyogre because so I've actually been kind of messing myself up a little bit. So we do need to sort this now. So. Let's give our Tinkerton, basically letting us get some more levels up. Max Law, always good. Alright, so let's fake out here. We took the Shadow Tag, it's getting, it's getting a speed increase. Defense increase, that's not too bad. If it keeps getting a speed increase, we kind of lose. Um, but we can't actually. Okay, we are in the red. Keeps gaining HP though. We had to catch that there. We are going to be stuck there for a long time and potentially even died. So let's just do that. Um, right. A nugget would be good for money. Okay, let's just revive. We are actually running out of money, we might have to start taking some better stuff. Smeagol, not uh, Smeagol, Smeagol, sorry, yeah. Uh, I'm actually just going to go Drain Punch and then Water Spout. Water Spout kills. And wait for a single battle to swap out Kyogre for Malawetta and then have Tington as our secondary. Focus band is massive. So let's just give all our stuff to Kyogre. Focus band can go to Kyogre as well. Another one of these. I am not even going to take the risk. So we're going to go Tinkerton here. We're going to uh, fake out the Rev Rib and then Water Spout. And kill it in one go. That Vever Room could have easily been the end of our run, which is why I just decided to kill it and not go for the items. Sometimes it's better to kill than go for the items. Just to get that run to extend. Um let's go and give our eggs to someone else. Nugget, definitely. Alright, so that's got two jeez, that's a lot of items. Um, it's got a fairy. Okay. That fairy foe would be nice to get if we did. We didn't, so we killed them instead. It's, like I said, sometimes we can just go for the kill. It is a lot easier. Ooh, a super XP charm. Nice. We don't actually need this many golden eggs just to get a full level, but I'm going to take it anyway. 
Uh, same thing here, there's not really much we need, so I'm just going to fake out and warp spout. And just keep moving on basically, trying to get more money, trying to get to a higher level. Now, we need that huge power on Tinkerton, which is why one of the reasons we're here. Um, I do want to try and get as much candy as I can. Uh, PP up on Drain Punch. Any good items? No. Okay, so in this particular one, we're going to fake out the muck, get double hits on that, and then obviously water spout kills. That sturdy is big, but the second one will obviously kill at the same time. That's what the multi lens is good for as well, taking down them sturdy mons because obviously. They are a pain, especially if you get them as a boss, that's just run over basically. Um, right, let's fake out. We are poisoned, so we could potentially lose this straight away. Got a Gigaton Hammer, which didn't do anything. Oh, it mustn't have anything that can attack us. Because all it keeps doing is the same move, which is Haze. Now, if it didn't do that, I was actually going to catch it. But it doesn't matter. Oh, it endured the hit. That's actually big. I don't want to keep using my Rogue Balls just in case we encounter a Legendary. Nice, we got it with a Great Ball. That's good. It's another one to add to our list to start using to try and get them tickets from using unique starters. Um, let's go. Uh, fake out and then water spout. Yeah, the normal ones will just die straight away to water spout, so you have no worries in rushing through this. Um, right. So our other mon should get to max level here, or potentially is already max level. Yeah, Chen Pao, unlike a normal Pokemon game, it's actually really good. I haven't seen it myself yet, um, with how good it will be. Um, we're going to fake out you and water spot you, uh, water spot you, sorry. Oh, we got a magnet. See, does that actually happen? Grip claws are OP. Because what's happened is we're attacking, it's taking the other mon. So, that's big because we can essentially get items from someone else. Um, let's try and get something a bit better. Nugget will do. And here is our legendary. Do I want to use a Master Ball on this just to get through it? I could. I also don't want to kill it. Oh, we took the magnet. Okay. Right. So it has two citrus berries. So we can discharge killed. Oh. Okay, so it's used its final. Sucker Punch did a lot. But it got it to a point where we can actually now try and catch it. Our last play on this is basically sending Kyogre out, throwing a Master Ball. Because we are just dying here. And I will get rid of. Um... We could easily have just left that. And me, but I am going to take away Chen Pao. What items has it got? Nothing I'm going to not be happy with taking. So let's release that. And then keep our Raikou. Because it's kind of what we need. And we are going to waste quite a lot of money here. But it is what it is. 
Um, basically to get our team back up and running. Um, all our magnets are on someone else, aren't they? Um, for now, until we can merge that with something else, potentially. Um, I'm actually tempted to merge it with our Reggie. Because if we got rid of the Hydreigon and gave it a Raikou, you're getting the speed, the ability as well. Basically, I just want to take a, I want to take Nuggets for now as well. Alright, so we are going to take Tinkerton here. Let's see, what do we get? We get Levitate though. What do you have? Pressure. Yeah, see, there's no point with that. Okay. So we might not get rid of the Hydreigon. That Levitate is big. For an electric type Pokemon, that's big. A rare candy is also big. Oh, actually, we need to give it Raikou. Raikou is majorly behind on the levels. We've caught that many legendaries. I'm actually, if this run did end before 800, I'm not going to be too sad about it. Just because we have done really well to get to 800. Hey, can we get a shiny from any of these? Kecleon, not shiny. It looked shiny actually from the colorings, but it's not. Crabro uh, yeah, Crabola, no. Orphworm, no. Heatmore, no. Survivor, no. Morwild, no. Sork, no. Morwild's another mega though. Mercro, nope. Did not get anything good there. Um, we are just going to save our money then. Now, once again, we just fund the bolt here. And it gets us so much EXP. I think Raikou still not got to max level. That's kind of insane. Uh, is that Cannon Thunder? Do we have Thunderbolt? Extreme Speed would be good. We don't have Thunderbolt. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for a Thunderbolt TM. Or something that's special as an electric type. Uh, ice Beam this. Double Ice Beam, remember. Does a lot of damage. Nugget. Get some more um, money because we are running low. Even though we've got five amulet coins, three of the punching things we are still running low on money and we are wiping things out in one go now we are max level so let's get that up fire punch could go to Malweta or Mega Magina once again not really worth uh, two people now we could do with a few more special attacks then if we're not taking down Mon straight away. Um, let's use Water Spout and then Fake Out. Basically do as much damage as possible. It survived it. It endured the hit twice. That's another thing. These little coins that keep like the Mons from being fit, that's Double burn. Okay. We're not ca I'm doing this to catch a mon that I'm never going to use. But we may as well have it as a starter. Get the candies a little. Um, I'm actually going to full heal. Uh, Malawetta. Law, see what we get. Okay. So we need to ice beam twice. We should kill. Enjoyed the hit. That's so annoying. 
gain that much speed as well. Where's he getting his HP from? We got paralysis. That's also not too bad. We could cheese it, potentially, maybe. Obviously, double fake out does a lot of damage. Go to Mega Magina, Leaf Storm dies, go back out, flinch it. I think that's what we're going to have to do. I don't see any more healing items either, so we are just going to cheese this. Another letter, take the hit. We actually survived it somehow. Now we don't. Um, go to Tington, unless it endures the hit. Which it didn't. And we get full heals as well. Which is nice. I do want to get to at least 800. If I get to 800 on this run. I'll be happy because I caught that many legendaries. That we can start a few levels. In a good standpoint. However. Primal Kyogre needs to come out for this one. I don't even use Origin Pulse anymore. Because there's just no need. Um, right. Special attack up always and um, we do have actually a ticket we can use so let's do that Tinkerton and uh, before we do that let's go to egg gotcha may as well try and get an, a nice little epic egg which we did nice okay water spout and then fake out just need to basically get that damage out on the Ursa Luna because Ursa Luna does tend to survive with Sturdy sometimes. Um, but we did get the kill there as well. Um, yeah, so 800 I'd be really happy with. We could learn Earthquake. It's just not good on any of them mons, which is a shame. Um, Relic Song we'll get maxed out on. Uh, what has... Okay, so we could try. I am just going to water spout, but we can fake out the Ursa Luna, trying to get the Silt Scarf, which we didn't get. Always a good try, especially if you know it has one. It ups our moves on Tinkerton, so I'd take it. We could go for a nice Electric Fairy, but we're not going to. Right, so Meloetta. Goes to Kyogre. Um, may as well use it on Malware. I just want to get some money. Oh, we are majorly running out of funds. Just for revives in general, especially on the end bosses, we seem to be taking a big beating. I'm going to say maybe the servers have gone down because we never usually take that long. But that is so much XP. What's that? That's billions. That is maybe even trillions. Um, right. It is insane that you can get this far very easily. Um, two magnets, one lucky egg. Steelix has four silk scarves. Oh, that. I feel like we have to go for the silk scarves, right? Well, you didn't get any of them. The Probo Pass, I think, does endure the hit. The first one. Not the second one, though. Oh, it did. Lovely. So, let's Ice Beam it twice and cover it. Hopefully get in. We didn't get anything. See, that is a shame. If you sometimes you just get nothing, and it is that way. I'm just thinking now, what's a broken strap we could bring in, and a mouse hold would be broken with a few multi lenses. Thinking about it, 
I feel like this is going to be a single battle. It is. Do I want to try going for the Silt Scarf? I can do. And then just Gigaton and hammer it. We got it. Oh, it endured the hit twice. Okay. Yeah, the amount of Silt Scarf you get does help this run. That's huge. Um... Six hundred K. Nice. Camera up there's another mega I've not really used yet. So if it endures the hit, I'll try and catch it because there is a best on there. It did not endure the hit. <laughs> Which is a shame. Um right. Once again, take the nugget. One lucky egg. We are that far in front with XP. This is not needed. Um, right. What about kills? Yeah, see, we've got our money back up to where we need it to be. Wide lens. Just for Origin Pulse alone. I think we have a few of them now. Don't we? We've got one multi lens, two wide lenses, yeah, so we could we are most likely not gonna miss a origin pulse now being ten percent higher with our accuracy, so it wouldn't be too bad. And there is I think that's that might be huge power. Maybe. Okay, so we're going to go Tinker Turn, Fake Out. Okay. Just realized it's ground. Oh, that's big. Um, right, Kyogre. Yeah, that's what should happen, by the way, with our water spout. It just wipes everything. So, we could have caught that, to be honest. It would have been a nice catch. But it does not matter. We are now 791. Anything after, like I said, 800. 800 is where I'm going to stop this video as well. We are 40 minutes in. So, water spout and then bite. See, the Raikou is fast. We could get some good potential from that. Very speedy. Special attack could be up, I guess. Oh, we got some eggs hatching. Uh, from Mantis. Cottony. Did have the special ability. We did get a Mianfu shiny. That's nice. With max HP. Okay. We actually got 10 candy for that as well. Electric Terror Shard. I wouldn't actually be too bad. One, because we get our electric attacks beefed up, but also we have Levitate, so we have no like super effective moves on us. Water Spout and Kill. Let's keep going. If you guys are playing this game, by the way, and thinking how do you get so many, you just need to beat Classic. Once you beat Classic, you are opened up to a lot of things. Like, for instance, Endless. If you have a good enough team behind you in Classic, you can get a good run on Endless. Meaning you can get to these legendaries that you can just catch with ease. I feel like this is going to have... It didn't... Can have water absorb, I think it is, or damp, whatever it is, or dry skin, which is a pain. Um, yeah, as long as you can get to this, like somewhere near here, you are good to go. Thunderbolt, nasty. Tempted to get rid of the Thunder Wave, it doesn't actually do anything for us. I'm going to. Flamethrower helps us out in a deep bind. Now, 
That Zatu has a Twisted Spoon, which I would definitely like to try and steal. So let's try that. So we're going to Water Spout and then fake out the Zatu. We got a Bevy, we did not get the Twisted Spoon, which is a shame. We could have actually have used um, Covert there because we are the fastest on the field. Fire Terror. Well, wouldn't have been the worst. Uh, there's a lot of items here. Black Belt, I'm not too worried about. Our... Ooh, it's just. Ice Beam does a lot, and then obviously the double. If it survives it, it survives. It didn't. It's nice to have that extra bit of like cutback just in case we don't get to fully kill. We do have six never melt no no We do have six never melt ice which does put us in a good um like position. Um right I don't get how, how people get so much money on this game. Like, I've watched many people get to where I am and have like billions of money. I just don't have that. I'm going to take the egg voucher. Um, so I'm hoping that m maybe it's because I haven't got the luck stuff on, which maybe I should. Um, there's a boss fight. Yeah. Okay, we do three. Then we did nothing. Oh, Bug Buzz did nothing as well. Uh, Thunderbolt, how much does that do? That does a lot more. Probably because we've got a few magnets as well. Then again, we've got um, them out of ice. We should be fine. Okay, spikes. Spikes would be good. But not the best. This is a double fight. That's a pain. Hopefully not a boss fight. Oh, never mind. What, item, what items have we got? Um, two uh, sharp beats, which isn't really that interesting. Okay, so this is basically a water spout and fake out. We don't really care about the items that we could potentially get, so we'll just kill. I do wish we had more candy jars at this point. Once again, that's another thing that we just don't have. Um, if we did, we could basically get our mons to like way above where they need to be. Okay. We're basically going to kill this in one hit, I hope. Yeah. Now, that one's an interesting one. Because that could have rinsed us. All Paradox Mons are broken. I think I did a classic run with one of the Iron Mons. But... Speaking of which, that is where I'm actually going to end this video. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like if you do enjoy Poke Rogue. Obviously, the game has been under a lot of stress. Um, so, if you are on the Discord, things like that, I know I'm not like major in the content creation world, but definitely don't go messaging the owner of the servers, things like that. Just let them do their, their job and try and get it back up and running for us so we can all play the game. And that is the best thing for everybody. Um, and that's where, like I said, that's where I'm going to leave it. Thank you all. Please subscribe to the channel. And I'll speak to you all in the next one.